Good morning and welcome to High Altitude Trucks. Today we are going to be working on a 2019 Ford F-150 and we're going to be doing a three and a half inch ready lift SST kit on this and some 22 by 10 specialty forged wheels and a 33 inch Nitto tire and we are going to get right into it and we're going to teach you guys the steps you need to do a proper install on this. So the first part of our instructions, we're going to get our measurements off of the truck just to see what it was at stock height. You want to do this um, from the center of the wheel to the bottom part of the fender and they have a spot for you to measure it. Alright guys, so what we have here is our, all of our parts for the ready lift suspension kit. Um, it's really pretty simple and straightforward. There's not too much to it uh, and it'll give it a good stance. So in the front we'll start with the billet spacers. Uh, this is all CNC machined billet aluminum. Um, these are the strut spacers and then these are the preload spacers. Um, I really like the quality of these because they're made out of billet aluminum. You don't see a lot of companies doing that. Um, this is kind of our hardware and things like that. The new product for two th that came out in 2018 um, and 19 are these new upper control arms. They've really improved the design of it and all the uh, components with it, which really makes it get the proper angles it needs. And then in the back, very simple, just blocks, U-bolts, and uh, that's it. So should be a pretty quick install and uh, we're gonna get right to it. So right now the first task that we're going to do is we're going to take and uh, disconnect all the ABS sensors and vacuum sensors and brake lines and things like that so we can droop all the suspension and not ruin anything. So we have removed all of our um, connections. Now we're going to start tearing into the suspension. Um, we're going to start with taking the um, nuts off of the tie rod end links. Um, and these are a 21 millimeter socket. I think it'd be and now what we're going to do is we're going to remove the axle nut. We've already removed the cover and then the nut is next. And this is a 13 millimeter. So now we're going to remove the two lower strut nuts and then we're going to also remove the sway bar nut. And these, all three of them are 18 millimeter. So all we are doing is just loosening the lower control arms. Uh, the nut is a 27 and the bolt head is a 21. So we can do this a couple different ways. Um, what I find easier is just taking the whole knuckle off. It's only one extra nut that you're not going to take off, but it just gets everything out of the way and it literally takes like maybe an extra five minutes to do. So first thing we're going to take off the caliper, which is a 21 mil. We're going to hang the caliper off to the side, take the rotor off. So we've taken out the lower control arm nut, which is a 21 mil. And then we're going to take out the upper control arm, which is an 18 millimeter. And I'm using a wobble to access it with an impact. You don't have to do this. 
So since this truck's brand new, all our ball joint tapers are just coming off pretty easily. So we didn't even need to use a hammer. But for most of you guys, you're gonna have to use a hammer. Now we're just gonna take the knuckle assembly off. And while I'm taking that off, I'm making sure that this shaft isn't hitting our ceiling surface for our four wheel drive. These seals are super easy to mess up. Like I said, this is not a requirement to do this, to take the knuckle off, but it's one nut and you gain a lot more access. And so now that all this is out of the way, we're gonna take off our strut tower bolts. Um, these we're gonna use an 18 millimeter ratcheting wrench and there is three nuts on the top of it. So you're gonna keep the factory strut, correct? Yep. So all we're doing is just adding some parts to it. So now we are gonna compress the springs and put in our preload spacer. Um, for this, you're gonna need a spring compressor. Uh, we have um, a really good one. The one that you're gonna get from the parts store isn't gonna be as good. Um, and you wanna make sure to mark the orientation of everything. Um, so what we'll do really quick is show you where we're gonna mark it. So we're just gonna mark basically a line on the metal, the rubber isolator, and on the strut as well. So this will reposition everything back the same way that it came out. So now what I'm doing is I'm getting the strut pretty straight up and down, making sure that we're gonna be safe with what we're doing here. And we're gonna compress the strut. Then we'll set our strut down, release the pressure. This is the top hat where we're gonna add in the preload spacer. Take our preload CNC billet spacer. We're gonna place that into the top hat, put a rubber isolator back on, line up our Sharpie marks, and then the spring can only go in one way because it's clocked a certain direction. We're gonna put that back in, and in it goes back into the spring compressor. So now we got it compressed. We're gonna make sure that our Sharpie line down here matches everything up there. And we're going to tighten this bolt and we're going to tighten this nut to 30 foot pounds. In, we're going to take our strut spacer and you're going to install this with the factory OEM nuts and they've machined it out so they fit perfectly. So we're going to take the upper control arm off. The bolt inside of it is an 18 millimeter and the nut on the outside is a 21 millimeter. And as simple as that upper control arms with a serviceable ball joint. So now it's time to install our strut assembly and it comes with three nuts from Ready Lift and it says right on the top, ready lift out, so you know which one side goes towards the out. All we're doing right now is just getting the uh, nuts started and we're not gonna get them tight until we get our lower strut bolts in, which can kind of be tricky. We 
just like that, our strut bolts are started. And we'll just get the bottom nuts started too. You gotta make sure to be careful not to hit that seal. So now I've got my lower control arm bolt in and I'm gonna start going up with the jack and we're gonna get our CV axle put in properly. So now we've got everything seated. So we're just gonna start getting nuts and pieces put back together. So on the top, you have a billet spacer that goes into the ball joint. You have another one that goes in there. And then you have this washer and nut that come with the new And then from here, it's basically the same process as removal. We're just going to make sure that we torque everything to spec as we're going. So this upper ball joint, we're going to torque to 85 foot-pounds. And the axle nut gets torqued to 20 foot-pounds. Now we're going to snug up our upper control arm bolts and lower control arm bolts and then while it's uh, easy to access in the air and then we'll, we'll set it on the ground and then we'll torque them to spec. So that wraps up the front suspension. Um, what I'm going to do really quickly is just do a drop zone, go over everything, make sure that everything's tight and looks good and we didn't miss anything and we will grease our upper ball joints and then we'll be moving on to the rear suspension. Okay, so the rear axle is extremely simple to do. Um, we've already finished that side. Uh, you're going to want to work side by side on the rear axle. We're going to start by taking this shock off. It is uh, nut side is 18 millimeter and the bolt side is 15 millimeter. And we also have a jack holding the supporting the axle too. Don't forget about that. And now. We are going to take off our four U-bolts, and these are 21 millimeter. And take our stock U-bolts out. Then we're going to lower the axle. And we're gonna remove our factory block. What's really nice about these kits is they're stamped in the direction and side that they go in. So you don't have to do any guessing work. There is a taper, and this is to make up for your pinion angle on your rear axle. So we're gonna place our block, we're gonna jack up the truck and get the alignment pins in, and we just need a little bit of pressure. And then we're gonna put our new U-bolts in. And now we're going to tighten our U-bolts, and then uh, after that we're going to torque them to 110 foot-pounds. And reinstall our shock bolt. Like
cigarette smoke is it that brings you wanna leave behind? Get all those cold eyes, cold looking, but saying bye bye bye. I don't wanna talk before the moment slowly slips away. Alright guys, so that wraps up this video. Uh, the three and a half inch ready lift kit went together really smooth and it looks really good on this truck. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. And uh, we'll see you on the next video.